first year at ECHS? My first year at ECHS was really, it wasn't relaxing, but it was a lot easier to transition into because it was mostly classes with like fellow students from this campus. And it was really close, like a lot of us were really close to each other. Like we, I guess it was kind of like growing up with each other because all, you lost all your friends from the other high schools when they went to those schools and you became close with these friends. So it was really fun. Probably one of my best years here. I would say that ECHS is like a family. Everyone knows each other. You have the evil stepmom too, here and there. <laughs> but you have the really friendly teachers that'll help you no matter what. If you need help in physics, you always have the math guys to go to. That's what they're called, the math guys. They're really good to you. All the, all the teachers help you a lot. I'm really close to one of the teachers. That's what I'm going. She kind of inspired me to go to Texas Tech. The journey was really difficult. I lost a lot of friends because of all the different switching around for classes. I had to learn more how to study better, how to stay focused, because there's a lot of distractions when you're over there. There's a lot like, oh, should I go to class? I mean, he's not a really good teacher, but I should go. And you really learn how to budget, like how to spend your time wisely, how to focus on studying, and then what you have to do. Like, if you want to go hang out with your friends, you should study before, so you don't fall behind. What do you think you said you there was, this was the toughest year, but there was never a point where you said, you know what, I, I'm done, I'm out of here, I can't close anymore. If anything, there was times where I said, this is it, like, I don't want to be at this school. And I've talked to my parents, but they've always swayed me to stay here. Like, if anything, it was mostly for friend reasons, friends at other schools that are like, oh, it's so much easier over here and all this stuff. But I stayed here and I'm doing, I wouldn't say I'm doing better than them, but I am. Like, I don't want to down them, but... Right. I never considered any other school, honestly. Like, when I found out about this school, I was like, let me try and apply and see if I get in. If I, if I do, I'll go. But if I don't, I'll just go to North. And when I got in, I was like, wow, <laughs> I didn't know something happened. And I got in, and I was pretty excited. I just came full head on. I let go of all my other plans. I think the promise for all the credit hours was fulfilled. I didn't think it would be at first. I thought, wow, this is impossible. There's so many classes I need to take. But now that I'm here, it's like, wow, I'm going to get everything done fast. That's what I always hope for. Are you, you graduate Friday? Yeah. Are you excited about graduation Friday? I am super excited about graduation on Friday. I'm really happy that I got to it. I know a lot of people have it didn't, like a lot of people tried to and some people failed, but I tried really hard these last couple years and I'm finally here. I'm so excited. My family is really proud that I'm doing this. My dad is very proud. He, uh, he was a migrant worker his whole life, as I am in the summers. And so he's really happy that I'm going to do something that I like instead of doing what he's done his whole life. And my mom is really excited too because she never got to finish. She was always worried, scared for her daughters. Was it scary? It was a little scary, like thinking about how to pass the college classes if there was any. But once you got used to it, you knew how the teachers worked. And once you knew that, it was just easy from there. My TSC experiences were really well. I learned how to use the environment there too. They have tutors there that help you pass your classes. I had a lot of really, a lot of help, just a lot of help. And the classes, once you get used to the teachers, like you just know what to do. And you just do it from there. If you, they are a note teacher, then you listen to all their notes, write them down, and you go take the test, and that's it. You have to study. You really do have to study. I didn't think that at first. I was like, I'm not gonna study, I'll pass. But now I know I, I have to study. Like, it's probably the best. From here, I plan to go to Texas Tech, um, which is in Lubbock, which is pretty far. People tell me I'm kind of crazy, that I should stay close to home, but I've never been that close to home. I moved here from Florida when I was 12, and then my, since my father's a migrant and my parents are divorced, I always go with him in the summers. We go to like Georgia, Indiana, Michigan. I've always wanted to kind of just break away. Yeah, I mean, I want to have a tight bond with my family, but I know I can do that at the same time, because I've always, I've, whenever I say I want to go home, I never really know what I mean. Like, you know, I feel like I should find my own home. My name is Bianca Moreno. I'm a legacy student at Early College High School. I'm graduating with 78 hours and my associate's degree in education.